sir. How are you? I'm good. Nice Bruno, nice pleasure to, you, to meet you. Come on in. Big fan. Oh. I got some little gifts for you guys. Get out. Yeah. Oh. The after. I got, I got a stick. I got a bunch of t-shirts. Sweet. It's almost a Giroux. It's one number shorter. <laughs> Just before. Almost. Just before. <laughs> Hi, Bruno. Nice to, nice to meet you. All right, thank you very much, Kathy. We're excited to have our next guest in the studio. It's going to be hockey season before you know it. First preseason game is on Sunday, September 15th. That's awesome. Training camp is starting on the 12th, and uh, we're getting set for it. So uh, let's welcome to our studio this morning, please, Bruno Gervais. Hey. Hey. Hi hey guys, how, how are, are you, man? Great, Bruno. How you doing, man? Really good, really good. Big fan, so it's kind of fun to see some faces behind those voices. Uh, it's, it's pretty fun. scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of surprise, but it's good. Yeah. Have you ever had those moments where you just got to suck it up and deal with an injury throughout a game? Well, yeah, through a career, quite a bit. I yeah. got my uh, face caved in by Colin White, which is a pretty Jeez. big guy, a few years back. And finished the game with a, I couldn't see out of my left side. So, uh, but finished the game. I got a puck right in the, right in the face. I got cut over here. I got a little scar. So, yeah. they kind of stitched me up. But that night, we, we had a day off the next day. So, we went out for a few drinks. And every time I took a sip, it was just leaking out of the hole <laughs> on top. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it. But you know what? So, I was at, I had a double sip of every sip. And I would try to catch it. You are, yeah. But you the just... worst I've ever had was uh, I blocked a shot right on my big toe. Oh. And it, it sh instead of breaking the toe, it shattered the toe. Oh. Crap, lost my nail. But you gotta finish the finish the game, and then you uh, kind of came back. And uh, I was wearing my uh, roommate's shoes at the time. He was wearing size twelve. I got usually size ten. Yeah. I had to wear his shoes because I couldn't fit anywhere. But I was like, it's so far from the heart. That's how you know. Like sometimes when it's so far, it's like you know what, I can play. Yeah. But the toe is the one of the worst one I've ever Excruciating, had. Excruciating, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Where in Canada are you from originally? Just maybe? outside of Montreal. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about poutine on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the spot. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't hear it, but yeah, that's the spot. I don't know if it was described properly or not, but... Uh, uh, how did you describe cheese it? Cheese and gravy on the fries, right? Exactly. But what's okay. the special cheese? It's a, it's. I think in English, <laughs> you call it cord cheese, I believe. I think There's you're right, There's a way yeah. to do it. It's like room temperature. It's really squeaky. And, uh, squeaky that's, cheese. Wow. Squeaky, that's all we call it. So wow. this is the, is it, the secret of the poutine is the squeaky cheese. Squeaky cheese. <laughs> and the yeah, second yeah. question is, uh, now that he's no longer with the team, how crazy is Brzezgalov? <laughs> he's uh, really interesting. Uh, <laughs> it, it was, a, it was a entertainment, you know, just to sit by him every day. You never know. What was he thinking about? And never like, what does he come up with? What he, how is he thinking? Everything you says to him, he, he just takes it to another level. Is he weird just because he's Russian? Like, or, like where does it come from? Or because he's a goalie and he's Russian? I, I don't know. That's a tough mix right there. That's a start <laughs> with. <laughs> no, no, I gotta love it. But he, uh, I don't know. I don't know if other Russians were you know thinking of him as special as well. That's uh, how everybody but, describes him though. They don't use the word crazy. They just say interesting. Yeah, it's special. Maybe we're not there yet. You know, he's at a next level. <laughs> You know, he's so special, smart like Sling Blade was special. Or, <laughs> well, excellent, Bruno. Listen, uh, first of all, I want to say uh, before thanks for coming by is thanks for listening to our show, man. I appreciate that. Oh, I love it. I'm a, a big fan of it. I'm mad that I missed the bizarre files. I don't know if there were some any this morning. <laughs> we're doing. Right I, I, we love, can, I love. I love we'll, these. We'll we do gotta it right take now. a break. Oh. And all right, then we we'll come, come back. back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then we'll do that. You know what? We have to have uh, Bruno come by and play. Do you have an iPod? Do you keep music on your phone or anything yes, like that? Yeah. We gotta do. Oh, yeah, we, we gotta do iPuss with him. Yeah. yeah, but half of it by law is gonna have to be Canadian music, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fifty percent. A lot of Tom Cochran. Yeah, right. yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Adams. All right. Well, cool. Well, best of luck, my man, this season, and we'll see you again. We'll have you back in soon. Okay? I love it. Thank you guys for having me. All right, Bruno Gervais, everybody. Yeah. 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 President Steve Chair. Awesome. All right. And with that, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. You stay right where you are. On the next episode of Flight Plan. Training camp kicks off at the Wells Fargo Center. Braden Shen expects big things from himself in the new season. And camp battles get underway as little-known Austrian named Michael Raffel opens some eyes.